Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. So for tonight's project, I'm gonna show you how to take this 50 caliber armor piercing round and turn it into this amazing center punch. So this project falls near and dear to my heart. My grandfather back in 1941 or 1942 made this. My grandfather used to work at the Sanford Naval Air Station. He repaired aircraft, jeeps, tanks, pumps, boats, anything that was broken, he would repair them. But about the time of the war effort, parts were really hard to come by, as well as tooling and automobiles, because everything was being recycled for the war effort. Now my grandfather, being the wily guy he was, needed a center punch. So he made one. And what he did was take a 50 caliber armor piercing round and strip the copper off it, because he knew that the center of an armor piercing round is a very high strength, high alloy, hard material to drive a hole through a piece of armor plate. So what he did is took a hacksaw, it looks like, and cut the copper off there and then stripped it off. Now the neat thing about it is, I actually have two of these. My dad still uses them to this day. And until recently, this one had never even been sharpened. This one never has been sharpened. So that means for about 75 years, my family's been using these as center punches without hardly ever having to resharpen this. So tonight's project is to take this 50 caliber armor piercing round, see if we can pull the copper off this round and expose that really hard inner core to make one of these punches. If you'd like a chance to win this center punch, be sure to comment down below. I'll pick one random winner. Also, if you'd like to double those chances, go to the Do Right Builder Instagram page and comment under the post about this punch. All right, folks, so here's what we're doing. We're gonna bring the live center up and what we're gonna use the live center for is we're just gonna try to use it to center the bullet up. It's not gonna be perfect. I'm okay with it being off just a little bit. Not too bad. So we like that. Now we're gonna back that live center all the way out of the way because we don't need it anymore. We're gonna bring our cutter in here. We're just gonna work back and forth and just remove this copper to get down to that armor piercing center. We know this is an armor piercing round by the way because it has the black indicator on the end of it. And we're just using a standard carbide cutter. Just kind of what the tooling I had already set up on here. A couple little quick adjustments. We're good and on the side there. So let's fire up the lathe. Take about a 4,000 step to cut. All we're trying to do is thin this in through here without crashing our lathe. Each path is probably four thousandths, maybe five. The point of this copper, by the way, is to give the rifling something to bite into. You couldn't shoot a solid steel core out of here because if there we go, it's coming off. If you shot a solid steel core out of here, it would eat the barrel out of the gun. The copper is nice and soft and uh, the rifling gives the rifling something to bite into and get the bullet out the barrel. Get it spinning when it comes out. There we go. Off she comes. So you can see a bullet there. What's neat here is on the inside there's a little bit of a lead cone in there. The lead cone I guess helps to deform a little bit when the bullet makes impact. So I'm going to come in here we're going to we're going to try to clean the rest of this off a little closer and then see if we can spin it around and get that piece off the backside. Let's see what we have left on here. We're definitely off center just a little bit because you can see a little bit of the copper that's left on there. But let's see if we can use the lathe to pull this off the back. And I'll show you what I mean. We'll use a little bit of tool pressure, see if we can break it loose. So we don't want to get that piece caught in the jaws. Let's put that in between the jaws if we can there. Let's jog it and see what that gets us. A little bit of run out, but kind of expect that. Good 
There we go. You guys see that? So the tool pressure pushing against here actually broke it loose and got it just to slip off. And what we need to do now is come over here. And there you have it. That's the armor piercing center part that we wanted. It's extremely hard material. You can see here that the, the lathe cutter just skated across it. All right, folks, you can see here this bullet's a little dull and gray. We're gonna polish it up before we send it to the lucky winner. The way we're gonna do it, we're gonna use this wheel. This is a nylon wheel that's silicon carbide impregnated. This is an Osborne product. If you can't find these around where you live, I've created an affiliate link down below where you can buy these through an Amazon store. If you do that, it helps out the channel. If you can find them around where you live, that works good too. We're gonna get to work and polish this up nice and shiny. So, show you how it works. This is a piece of 316 stainless. 316 stainless is pretty hard, so to center punch it, it takes a good wallop. The tip is still in great shape, didn't damage it at all. Remember, if you'd like to win this center punch, be sure to comment below. Also go to the Do Right Builder Instagram page and comment for an additional chance to win. Thanks for watching. We'll see you real soon.